This video is sponsored by OWC. Sit back and relax, because here are 50 tips and tricks for iOS and a few for iPadOS 15. If you have several websites in a Safari tabs group that you want to share with someone over email or messages, for example, you can copy all the URL links to the clipboard in the following way. Open the tabs group, tap group's name at the bottom of the screen, and then tap edit in the top left of the tabs group's card menu. Tap the circled ellipsis next to the tabs group in question and then select copy links. Got a PDF you want to password protect? Simply find the corresponding PDF in the Files app, tap Share button, and then tap Lock PDF. Safari has a ton of changes this year, and one of them is the ability to customize the look of your Start page. Just scroll down to the bottom of your Start page and then tap Edit, and from here you can check or uncheck the various sections you might want to see. And you can even change your background image too. There are now more keyboard shortcuts available in the podcast app for iPadOS. Simply press and hold the command key to see a list of about 17 keyboard shortcuts. Want to delete or rearrange some different home screen pages? Just long press on an empty part of the screen to enter jiggle mode and then tap the dots here at the bottom. And from here you can select or deselect pages as well as drag and drop them to rearrange them. If you want to adjust the text size on your iPhone on a per app basis, just head into settings, control center, and then add text size toggle to your control center. Then whenever you're inside of a specific app that you want to change the text size for, swipe down from the top right to enter control center, and then tap on the text size icon, which is a lowercase and uppercase A, and then select either all apps or the specific app that you have open. If an app appears in Spotlight via Siri suggestions, you can now drag and drop that icon to your home screen by just long pressing and dragging it to your desired home screen location. Apple brought back its text selection magnifying glass in iOS 15. Just press and hold your finger on any text input area to bring up the magnifier and relocate the cursor within the text. There are new split view and slide over menus for controlling each multitasking view. At the top of the apps that support split view is a small ellipsis icon which reveal your full screen view, split view, and slide over options. Tapping split or slide over will move your current app out of the way to reveal your home screen so that you can select your secondary app. In iPadOS 15, supported apps now display a new shelf view at the bottom of the screen upon launch. The shelf displays all open windows for the current app, including any multitasking instances of it, allowing you to switch easily between them. The shelf minimizes when you interact with an open window, but you can resurface it by long pressing the app's icon and selecting show all windows. iOS 15 gives users the ability to drag and drop images, text, files, and more across apps on your iPhone. For example, if I wanted to select multiple photos, I can then long press on the stack of selected photos. And while continuing to long press, you can swipe through to another app like the Messages app, for example, and drag them into a conversation. This could also work the other way around, like searching for images in Google and then selecting a bunch of those images and dragging and dropping them into your photos library to save them iOS 15 finally allows users to have a full calendar displayed in a new 2x2 two two small calendar widget. Long press on a space on your home screen and then tap the plus icon in the top left corner to add a widget. Then go to calendar and you'll see a new small full calendar widget alongside the older event 2x2 two two widget. If you're in a focus mode and those badge app notifications are really distracting, you can actually turn that off by going into settings focus, and then select either do not disturb or the specific focus mode that you've created. Head into home screen and then hide notification badges. Quick notes are a cool new feature in iPadOS 15. And to start a quick note, simply use your finger or Apple pencil and swipe diagonally from the bottom right corner of the screen. You can do this pretty much anywhere in iPadOS 15 home screen, specific apps, etc. If you are using a connected keyboard, press the globe key and Q to bring up a quick note. 
iOS 15 lets users generate two-factor authentication codes, removing the need for third-party applications. You can set up verification codes for web accounts under settings and then passwords. And then once set up, verification codes will autofill when you sign into a website, making two-factor authentication on an iPhone or iPad much more streamlined. Yes, that's right, you can now dress your Memoji with more than 40 new outfit choices to choose from, so have fun customizing your Memoji all day. Not all of Safari's new changes will appeal to everyone, and so if you aren't a fan of, say, the new address bar being at the bottom, well, you can actually put it back to the top by tapping the double A icon and then selecting Show Top Address Bar. Apple has now added AR mode to its maps, and you can actually access this by initiating a walking route, then raise your iPhone and scan the buildings around you when prompted. The step-by-step -step directions will appear in the AR mode automatically, which should make it easier to get where you need to go. If you want to block background noise when on a FaceTime call, you can do this by going into the control center while on a FaceTime call or any call from a third-party application, and then tap the mic mode button and then voice isolation. You can now turn on weather anticipation alerts in the weather app in order to get notifications on when rain or snow might be starting or stopping in your area. To do this, tap turn on notifications at the top of the location list. If you don't see the stay dry card, tap on the circular ellipsis icon in the top right corner of the screen and then tap notifications. Finally, toggle the switches next to the locations that you would like to receive notifications for. Inside of the Notes app, specifically a shared note, you can now tap the at symbol and then someone's name to specifically call attention to something within that note for that specific person. You can also tag notes with either a word or phrase for better organizational purposes. Once you create a tag, it's added to the tag section in the Notes app overview. You can tap on any of the tag names to see all the notes that might contain that specific tag iOS 15 and Hide My Email offers users the ability to create unique random email addresses that forward to your personal inbox whenever you want to keep your personal email address private. In Settings, tap the Apple ID banner at the top, then select iCloud, Hide My Email, and Create New Email Address. Tap Continue, then give your address an identifying label. You can also optionally make a note about it. You can now use the random email address whenever you send emails in the mail app or when you're asked to enter email address on a website in Safari. If you're using a paid iCloud Plus account, you now get access to a new feature called iCloud Private Relay, which will encrypt all of your traffic leaving your device so no one can intercept it or read it. To enable it in settings, tap the Apple ID banner at the top, then select iCloud, Private Relay, and toggle on the switch next to iCloud Private Relay. You can now share health data with family members or caregivers so they can keep track of meaningful changes in your health. To do this, tap the sharing tab at the bottom, select share with someone, and then follow the on-screen instructions. In Safari, if you want to quickly refresh a web page, simply pull down the page with the swipe gesture to quickly reload it. You can now install and download Safari extensions via the App Store. Once you install an extension, you'll see it listed in the extension screen in Settings, where you'll be able to control any extension-related options. Not a fan of Safari's new website tinting, which is meant to make the browser interface fade into the background and create a more immersive experience? Well, you can turn this off too by heading into Settings, Safari, and then turn off Allow Website Tinting. When using the camera app on iPhones, the night mode feature comes on automatically when the camera sensor registers an indoor or outdoor scene that seems like it's too dark and would need some brightening. If you want to turn off auto night mode, you can do so by heading into the settings app, select camera, and then preserve settings, and then toggle night mode switch on. Siri has been able to announce messages for quite a while now, but in iOS 15, you can now get Siri to announce all notifications. In the settings app, tap notifications and under Siri, select announce notifications and then toggle on the switch next to announce notifications. In iOS 15, one result of Siri's increased contextual awareness is its ability to help you share whatever's on your iPhone screen with someone else via a message, be it a website in Safari, a song in Apple Music, a photo, or just the local weather forecast. To share something at any time, invoke Siri and then say, share this with whatever person you decide to share it with. 
In iOS 15, you can enable anyone, even if they don't have an Apple device, to join a FaceTime call with you by creating a link to a FaceTime conversation that can be shared anywhere. In the FaceTime app, simply tap Create Link, give the link a name if you'd like, and then share it from the Actions menu. Apple has added a new feature called Live Text that can recognize text when it appears in your camera's viewfinder or in a photo that you've taken and let you perform several actions on it. Point your phone camera at something containing text, such as a restaurant menu or a sign, and then tap the Live Text icon in the corner of the viewfinder. Drag the ends of the selection tool to highlight all of the text that you'd want to copy, and you can paste it wherever you'd like iOS 15 adds background sounds to help you stay focused, calm, and even minimize distractions. You can turn these sounds on by going into the Settings app, Accessibility, Audio Visual, and then Background Sounds. You can now adjust the playback speed of the default video player in iOS. Just tap the ellipsis icon in the bottom right corner of the screen and select your preferred speed from 0.5x to 2x. You can translate text anywhere, including images, inside of iOS 15 by simply highlighting the text using the selection tool, then tapping on that text to bring up a menu with a translate option. If you swipe downward on the lock screen of your iPhone, you can get Spotlight Search interface without having to actually unlock your iPhone. You can now mute notifications for individual apps, and you can do this by swiping left on a notification and then select either mute for one hour or mute for today. In iOS 15, Apple has updated the Photos app to include an expanded info pane where you can view information about a photo in your library, including EXIF metadata such as the camera it was taken on, the lens type, etc. In the Photos app, tap the I or Info button below an image and look for the EXIF data in the box below the date and time. In iOS 15, Apple has added an auto-translate option that means neither person has to interact with the screen to get their part of the conversation translated. To enable auto-translate, tap the Conversations tab, and then tap the ellipsis or three dots icon and select auto-translate. Find your HomePod to be a bit too much in the base department? Well, you can actually adjust it now by going into the Home app, select a HomePod, tap the settings icon in the bottom corner, and then scroll down and toggle the reduce base switch. You can also blur your background on a FaceTime call by either swiping down from the right to access the control center, and then tap video effects and select portrait, or you can just tap your window inside of the FaceTime call and then tap the portrait icon in the upper left corner. Apple has made Spotlight Search more powerful by integrating it with more apps, including the Photos app. You can swipe down on the home screen to bring up Spotlight Search and then type photos and then start searching your pictures by specific locations, people, scenes, etc. If you want to add custom Apple Music songs to your photos memories, you can do this by selecting a memory that you want to edit from the For You tab and then tap the playing memory to bring up controls. From here, tap on the music note icon in the bottom left corner and then tap the add music icon to browse your Apple Music library. Apple in iOS 15 has added the ability to track a lost iPhone even when it's turned off or in power reserve mode. In the settings app, just tap your Apple ID banner at the top and then select Find My. Make sure the switches next to Find My iPhone and Find My Network are turned on. That way you'll be able to find your iPhone in the Find My app under the Devices tab even if your iPhone has run out of battery or is turned off. If you want to hide content from a specific person that's shared with you in messages, you can go to the conversation section and long press on a conversation thread. You'll see a hide and shared with you option. Tap it and then anything shared by that person won't be included there. The Shazam icon in Control Center is not new, but what is new is its long press actions that now shows you your Shazam history for quick and easy access. Speaking of nothing new, Quick Take has been around for a bit and allows for users to quickly take a video by pressing and holding the shutter button. You can now zoom in by simply swiping upwards, but keep your finger pressed down on the shutter button iOS 15 brings us Spatialized Stereo, which is a bit different than Spatial Audio, which uses Dolby Atmos. 
Instead, spatialized stereo brings you a simulated effect of having sound coming at you from different directions and works with basically any content as long as you're using AirPods Pro or AirPods Max. To turn this on, simply long press the volume slider in Control Center and then tap spatialized stereo. Last, but certainly not least, you can now skip silence in voice memos as well as adjust playback speed by opening up the voice memos app, tapping on a voice memo, and tapping the controls icon on the left-hand side. And here you'll find both options under playback speed. And before we end today's video, I do wanna give you more information about today's sponsor, OWC. OWC just released a new ultra-fast Thunderbolt bus-powered portable SSD, the Envoy Pro SX. The OWC Envoy Pro SX is versatile enough to be used as a bus-powered drive for daily storage and backup tasks. It can handle workflows easily and handle the speed demands of production-level audio, design, and photography workflows. And it serves up real-world performance speeds at over 2,800 megabytes per second with modern Thunderbolt and USB 4-equipped Macs and PCs. The drive is extremely portable in a very small, compact shell that's also rugged enough to be certified against dust, water, and drops. It features a removable Thunderbolt cable and is test certified to handle the nastiest environments. From managing obstacles in the field to crushing deadlines at home, the OWC Envoy Pro SX lets you unleash your productivity power no matter the task. And for more information about the OWC Envoy Pro SX, visit the link in the description down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.